1989, 2006, 2012, 2024, Industrial Blue, Military Blue, whichever one you want to call it, we have it coming back to us in its original form, this original OG form, guys. Today here we have the Air Jordan 4, Military Blue, 2024. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another video for you guys today. And of course, we do have a on foot. So make sure to tune in throughout the whole video so guys to see how these look on foot. But guys, before we start this video guys, if you guys enjoyed this video guys, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join the family if you guys have it yet. If you guys want to stay connected with me, my social will be on the screen and down below in the description box. Now let's dive in straight into these Jordan 4s. Alright guys, so starting with the box as we always do, we have our Jordan 4 box, we have the lid in black, jumping in red on the front, flight in white, and that's really pretty much it on the lid, um, we, do, we do have a hit of Nike Air in red right here on this side, and as well on this side as well. Bottom of the box area is in that cement colorway with the splatters of black on the, on the whole bottom of the box, as you guys can see. We have the label on this side right here. I'll insert a little screenshot so you guys can see the label a little clearer. And I'll also read it for you guys. The label reads Air Jordan 4 Retro. Off-white military blue is the colorway. It is not industrial blue, but sneakers does have it as labeled as industrial blue. But we are calling it the original um, colorway, which is that military blue. Even the label says off-white military blue. So let's just stick to that. Um, sizing is a nine and a half men, um, women's is an 11. Stock code is FV502914141. Made in China. Men's UK is an eight and a half. Women's UK is an eight and a half. And let's pop this bad boy open. We have the inside of the box. You have it in red. You have, you have the splattered paper wrapping. And it should be the shoe in there. Alright guys, so now that we're done with the box, let's just straight into the shoe and talk about some details. So first off, this shoe is releasing May 4th at retail of 210 for men's. It is coming out in full family size run, so if you guys didn't have a chance yet to cop these early, you guys still have a chance, a very, very good chance to cop these on release day because it's going to be a lot of stock, a lot, a lot of stock. It shouldn't be a hard release to cop at retail, but expect the unexpected. This is a very hype Jordan 4. This is a Jordan 4 a lot of us was waiting for, I was waiting for it, and a lot of you guys was waiting for it. And a lot of people are gonna be after it. Although it's a lot of stock, a lot of numbers, still put in the work, guys. But besides that, again, like I said, it is coming out in full family size run. We have the men's at 210s. We have GS, which is um grade school or youth. We have that one at um 160 before tax. We have, we have little kids, we have little, we have little kids preschool at hundred dollars, and as well we do have toddler at um eighty five dollars. So, but besides that information, let me show you guys an up close look of what you guys will be looking at at the twenty twenty four Jordan Four Military Blue. Let me focus it on the camera, and as you guys can see, this is how it looks, guys. It is a beautiful shoe. Look even better in person. Again, I'm not gonna sit here and say I ever seen the um, 1989 pair in person, but I've seen pictures and definitely looks and shape the same way. Definitely, um, the upper like the box say is an off white. Um, to you it may seem like a grayish white or like a grayish mixed with a light blue white in my opinion, but it definitely is an off white. Um, that's what it's gonna give you. It's not a full white. Um, I know some of the pairs that release um, after the OG it looked like a full white I'm not sure if you guys can even catch it but look at the um, look at the wing thing right here right look at this this white compared to the material on the top definitely different um, different white and look at the midsole area around the air unit definitely you could tell it's a different white compared to the leather material that's on top so definitely it's two different whites this is definitely an off-white and these are definitely white white type of white but But besides the colorway, you have a leather material, which feels pretty good in my opinion. It's not so bad. 
Um, we have this area right here in the um, new book um, um, material. And it's a grayish um, colorway. And I think it looks pretty good. Um, overall, the colorway sits very, very well with the off-white and it matches with the blue very nice. I think it contrasts, it contrasts with each other a lot. And besides that, we have the netting usual on your twin, um, your Jordan 4s. You have it in the front behind your lace. Um, you have it in the front behind your laces and you have it on the side right here. And behind that, you have the mesh in blue on the side. And as well, behind your laces, you have some flat white laces. You have some um, flat white laces. You have some more hits of military blue right here where the eyelids area is at, at the bottom and as well at the top. You have a hanging Nike Air tag in orange. Instead of the metal one, they put the clear plastic one, which is, I guess, pre um, pretty easier to take out in my opinion. You have the tongue in white and you have the patch. You have the Jumpman in um, blue and you have flight written in black. Let's go to the back of the tongue. You have the back of the tongue and that military blue colorway with the Jordan written right here, Air Jordan right here, Air Jordan patch. You have the rest of your um, sock liner in white. You have the insole and that military blue colorway with the Nike Air written on there in white. The back of your heel, you have that. The tab right here, you have that in that military blue colorway and you have the Nike Air in like a 3D um, and white. Some hits of military blue going down on your midsole around the area of the air unit. You have white again, like I mentioned, it is definitely a white, white, or true white compared to this white mom um, off-white material. And then for the outsole, you have your typical Jordan 4 outsole and a mixture of colors. You have the middle and that military blue with the Nike Swoosh right here in white. You do have some hits of gray right here on the back. You have um, some more white. You do have some more military blue right here and a little hit of gray right here. Oh, a little thing, just in case you guys did not know what I was talking about. We have the hang tag on the reimagine and that um, metal thing. This is what I was talking about. Sometimes we have it, we get it in metal. And but for the but for the um, military blue, we have it in a plastic um, little thing, which don't know what it's called. But makes it easier to take out. And I like the metal in my preference because this is easy to break if you don't take care of it pretty well. I like to keep it and not really damage this area. I'm not sure if I'm just that, that, that type of sneakerhead or collector. But anyways guys, now that you guys seen an up close look of the 2024 Air Jordan 4 Military Blue, now let's talk about rating and our honest opinion. And I'm gonna start first guys. And definitely this is a 10 out of 10. In my honest opinion, this is a must cop, must have in your Jordan lineup rotation, in your Jordan 4 location, um, I'm gonna say location, in your Jordan 4 rotation. You definitely need these, especially if you never had a pair. Me personally, I never had a military blue um, colorway pair. Um, so I definitely had to get it. And now guys, let's dive into the sizing in case you guys do not know what size to go for for this Jordan 4 Military Blue. And with the sizing, I'll definitely recommend you guys can go true to size. Um, just go with your regular standard Jordan 4 size if you guys already have Jordan 4s. But if you guys never had Jordan 4, you are still fine with going true to size. Just go with your exact true size for your regular sneakers that you usually wear, your regular Jordans. If you guys already have Jordans, um, you guys should be perfectly fine with the, your true size going for these, for this release, guys. But guys, that's much for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the outfit. If you guys did, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join the family if you guys have yet. I appreciate the love and support you guys been giving me. We're on the road to 10K. I'm pretty sure pretty soon we're gonna get there. Let's keep growing this channel. See you guys in the next one.